This will be part B of number one from the 2014 A, B, and B, C exams. And they give us this function that represents the number of pounds of grass clippings that are in a bin, and T is measured in days. And in part B here it says find the value of A prime of 15 using correct units, interpret the meaning of this value within the context of the problem. So there is a way to do this piece of part problem number one here that would probably be pretty similar to how you've seen it in your textbook. And that would be to take the derivative of this, put 15 in place of t, and then use your calculator to help you evaluate that. Well, if you're on a calculator question, and this is definitely a calculator active question, if it doesn't ask you for a prime of t, if it just asks you for the numerical value of the derivative at a specific time, what you can do is you can actually estimate this with the calculator. And when I say estimate, I'm talking about uh, to all the digits of accuracy that the calculator provides you with. So that'll definitely account for the three digits we need for the purposes of the AP exam. If we want to estimate this with a TI-83, what we can go ahead and do is go into this math menu, and toward the bottom of the math menu, we can numerically do a derivative. So that's option eight. And what you're going to do to have the calculator find this derivative for you is type the function that you want the derivative of in first. So you just have to take a second to carefully type that in. And I'm going to use the just the standard variable button here and I'm in function mode so you're going to see an x appear. Uh, and that's fine. You guys have changed the, the variable t to the variable of x x to graph on your calculator a bunch of times I'm guessing so this shouldn't be an uncomfortable change so I've changed the variable to x from t once you get the function that you want to do the derivative of in you need to give the calculator a comma and tell it the variable of differentiation well the variable that I typed into the calculator was x and then you need to give it another comma and tell it what t time in this case what value you want to know the derivative at we want to know the derivative at 15. So I want to know the derivative at 15. I'll close that initial grouping symbol the calculator gave. And if you evaluate, you end up with negative 0.16. You know, around that to negative 0.164. You can truncate that to negative 0.163 as well. Uh, it does say to include units of measure, right? So the units of A would be pounds. The units of T would be days. Uh, if we were graphing A of T, what we'd see is we'd see pounds on this axis and we'd see days on this axis. Now since the derivative is just a special slope calculation, a very special slope calculation, uh, all we have to do is take units of Y divided by units of X for the units of our derivatives. So this would be measured in pounds per day. And what does this represent within the context of the problem? Well, at day 15, the number of pounds of clippings in the bin is decreasing, since this is negative, at 1.64 pounds per day. You'd want to write that out on your test or on your AP exam. Uh, I'm not going to take the time to write that out here, but you definitely want to get that on the page to account for what they ask you to do in the concluding step of Part B.